Today's aim of experiment is to study the property of HCl and sodium hydroxide on the basis of litmus solution, zinc granules and sodium carbonate. Let's look out the materials required for this experiment. So the materials required for this experiment are here. So we actually need the chemicals required for this experiment are hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. We have blue litmus solution, red litmus solution, let's take a look, sodium carbonate, we have uh, actually this uh, zinc granule, this is sodium carbonate and we have the apparatus that is the test tube, test tube stand, holder and spatula and the dropper. Let us start with by testing the hydrochloric acid. We'll take hydrochloric acid with the help of a dropper in the four test tubes one by one. So we'll fill up these test tubes with dilute HCl. Now we'll do the test. First we'll test with the red litmus solution. The red litmus solution is red in color. And then we'll add few drops of red litmus into the first test tube. So the red litmus remained red in color. You can see this. Now we'll test with the blue litmus solution. Blue litmus is a bit purplish in, uh, and bluish in color. So I'm adding a few drops. We'll see that blue litmus changes to red in color. Take a look. Then we'll add zinc granules. If we have studied in the theory that when the acid reacts with metal, the gas liberated is hydrogen gas. We can see the bubbles of hydrogen gas coming out. You can see it carefully. The bubbles are coming out. So the this is the hydrogen gas and the confirmatory test for hydrogen gas is a popping sound comes. Now we'll test with sodium carbonate. We'll take sodium carbonate and spatula and then add in this test tube. Sodium carbonate reacts with HCl with brisk effervescence. Here you can see the brisk effervescence here. The brisk effervescence is due to carbon dioxide gas. Now we'll uh, uh, do the test with sodium hydroxide. Let's see. So similarly, we'll take sodium hydroxide with the help of dropper and add this in different four test tubes, separate four test tubes. Now we'll test with, like we did with HCl, we will first test it with red litmus solution. Let's see what are the color changes for the red litmus solution. The red litmus when we pour it drop by drop into the first test tube, the red litmus changes to blue. Just see here. The red litmus changed to blue in the base. Now let's see about what happens with the blue litmus solution. The blue litmus solution it remains unchanged. So there is no change in color basically. Then we'll test with the zinc granules. We have started that sodium hydroxide. When it reacts with zinc, it forms sodium zincate and hydrogen gas is evolved. Let's see and the reaction is actually very slow. You will see this after some times there is evolution of hydrogen gas. Then we will do it with sodium carbonate. What do you think will sodium hydroxide react with sodium carbonate? Let's see will it react or not.
we have studied in theor theory that so the both are bases so base and base do not react so they basically there is no reaction with sodium carbonate now let's look at the result of hcl that in hcl the blue litmus changes to red zinc reacts to give hydrogen gas and sodium carbonate reacts with hcl to evolve carbon dioxide gas with sodium hydroxide the red litmus changes to blue the zinc reacts to liberate hydrogen gas and basically there is no reaction with sodium carbonate so these were all these were the properties of acid and bases so you should take care while handling the chemicals use dropper for taking out the solutions and use spatula for taking out the salt from the so thank you students i'll come up with the next practical in the next video thank you